Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I was so lucky and able to pick up the newest palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Love Palette from her like Valentine's collection. And this says on here that it is a net weight of 19.25 grams or 0.67 ounces. And this has a 24 month shelf life and it says it is made in Italy, it is alcohol free, mineral oil free, paraben free, not tested on animals. And then there's just ingredient breakdowns on each of the shades. It says on here, there's a note, it says how to use matte eyeshadows, apply with a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend or detail brushes for precision. Metallic, duochrome, chroma, crystal eyeshadows, apply with dense eyeshadow brushes for a subtle finish. For high payoff foiled finish, apply with a damp eyeshadow brush or with the tip of your finger. So that is kind of the box packaging on there. And then this is what the palette looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen a million videos on this palette already. Definitely my news feed has been full of them. So here are the shades. And then on the back here, there are these little pinholes. So if you want to customize your palette, you can pop them out and create different layouts, I suppose. So this is the second time we've seen this format for Natasha Denona, $65 is a kind of a newer price point for her. The first palette she did in the $65 range is this guy, this is the Sunrise palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this as well. And it has that nice plastic packaging as well as the same backside where you can punch out these shades if you want to. So here they are side by side. I definitely feel like they are complementary palettes, but if you have the Sunrise, I think there's definitely room to pick up the Love palette in your collection. This one definitely leans more neutral warm shades, whereas the Love palette is definitely more of a pinky purple palette. Um, my other favorite, favorite Natasha Denona palette is the Gold palette, and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, this is the Love palette, so don't really see a lot of similarities there. And then I have her Metropolis palette, which I was like absolutely obsessed with at the end of 2019. And then I do have the Star palette. I don't really think that this one's definitely a very muted palette. This is like my least favorite Natasha Denona palette that I own. And then the other one I have is the Biba palette. It has that same plastic packaging, but the Biba palette was one of our $125 palettes. So um, similar packaging, but different price point, bigger eyeshadows in this one. This one is 2.5 grams. Um, I think per shadow so you get a ton of product but I think most of us are very enthusiastic when we see Natasha Denona doing smaller palettes. Most of you guys that watch beauty YouTube are palette collectors, eyeshadow fanatics like me and none of us are finishing up our eyeshadow palettes so it's nice to be able to pick up something nice from Natasha Denona at a great price point with good quality, so that's great. This collection also launched with a beautiful face palette as well as three lip glosses. I did skip on the glosses because God knows I have plenty of those and the, the face palette looked really beautiful. The only thing is it has like a very bright like pink cheek product in it and it has a cream product in it and as tempting as it was and the packaging as cute as it was, I just didn't feel the need to spend $55 on a cheek palette at the time it launched so I did go ahead and skip on it. So quickly I do want to swatch this palette for you so let me go ahead and do that now. So here is the first row. Wow, the mats did not swatch that great. So the first shade is called First. Next we have a beautiful like bronzy shade called Lifetime. Then I have a shade called Heartbeat, which I did use today. And then Transparent, which is like a champagne-y pink color and Trust, which is a matte purple shade. Okay, so the next row is mostly shimmers. And I did use some of these on my eyes today. The shimmers are very crumbly, kind of shocked about that. 
Okay, so we have Heart, which is that beautiful red. I did use that on my eyes today. Giving is the shade I have on my lids. Pure Love, Commitment, and Blind. I'm assuming that's like the lo love is blind. And then I'm going to switch arms because I don't want to get eyeshadow on my sweater. So I'm going to swatch the last row. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. So here is the last row. So here they are. We have Soul, Passion, Intense, Valentine, and Dream, which is like a beautiful pastel purple. So definitely excited to try that on my lid. And then here is a closer look at all the swatches in case you guys wanted to see. And I will go ahead and insert a close-up clip right here. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those swatches. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into how I created this eyeshadow. Okay, so today's tutorial is gonna be with the Natasha Denona Love Palette. This is palette number one for the month of February. I didn't know what to expect. When I saw this online, I was like, oh my gosh, like that's different. So I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get it, but I felt like a majority of you were really interested in it and I just thought it was something different, you know? Uh, it wasn't just like, here's some reds, here's some pinks, like cutesy, like the ooh la la. So I was curious about it. And I want to start off with the shade Intense. And this is the AOA Studio E125 brush. I've been raving about these brushes, they're like a dollar a piece and I think you get 10 of them in a brush set that you can buy on Shop Missy's website. So I'm just blending that in there. My husband was not well on Friday, so I didn't wear makeup to work on Friday. And then Saturday, we were so busy cleaning our house and we had friends over for dinner and we cooked, so I didn't get to wear makeup on Saturday. So it's Sunday evening. It's Super Bowl Sunday and I'm filming makeup tutorials because we are just not into football here in the Harris household, which we are okay with. It's just been a really stressful week with work. I'm just happy to have had time to decompress and take it easy. I do want to tell you guys, this is something really personal for me, but brace yourself. I'm, I've, <laughs> I've been on birth control for about three years um, on like the depot shot. So, you know, 2020, like we're gonna see if we can have a baby or something. I don't know, it's, bear with me. This is really weird to talk about on the internet. But, um, so I had to get off, I got off my shot like last February or so. I stopped getting it and I didn't get a period for my depot and I was like, progressively freaking out a little bit at a time. And then finally I had a doctor's appointment the end of, close to the end of last year. And I talked to my doctor and they basically told me that the best thing to do was probably just switch to the pill. And that would help jumpstart my period. So I started taking the pill. Um, so today, this week would have been week four, and I finally got my period after like about two years of never getting one. So it's just been like the worst adjustment because I'm like, like I was like a dormant little volcano like these couple of last couple of years because I never had to deal with any cramps or anything. I mean, I occasionally have like mood swings and stuff like that, but. Now I'm just like re-remembering what it's like to be a, I don't know, a 
woman on her period and it's it's a lot. I just had like such a bad headache. I was so cranky. I was so tired. Oh, it's just been a day. So I'm happy it's Sunday. I'm happy I get to relax before we go back to work tomorrow. And wish us luck, guys. I don't know what else to say. Wish my poor husband good luck. So um, next shade I'm going to go into is Heart. Um, and this is just like a pretty red. I'm going to start with the outer corner. And just blend that in. I feel like everyone and their grandma bought this palette. So I don't even know if people will watch my video. Because... I mean, how many videos can you watch, right? So. Okay, now I want to go into Heartbeat, which is like the dark, like maroon red shade. Same brush. Just gonna darken up the outer corner. Ooh, pretty. So I posted a picture of this palette when I bought it. And I had kind of hope that I would get some expert advice from the low buy, no buy community. Um, because technically this is my February palette, but it launched like the end of January. So I was like, what do I do, guys? I really wanted this palette. I wanted it to be my February palette, but I bought it in January and I don't really feel bad about it. And I was really excited because most of you said like, we understand it's like as long as you don't buy it too like as long as it's not like February 1 and I'm buying March palette I think people were pretty understanding so that was really nice not really seeing a color gradient show up here so that's a little bit weird because I was hoping to see like a gradient in shades it all just looks like it's one color I'm going to grab this little Sonia G brush and go into the shade Trust, which is like a dark purple. This, I think, I was watching um, Mel Thompson's video of this palette, and she said she's got some of the creamy mattes in this palette. And I think she said this purple was one of those which I really liked those shades in the Metropolis. They were really fun to play with and blend. So I'm trying to give myself a wing, but I feel like it just looks like a heated mess. Okay, next I'm just gonna grab a flat brush. This is actually from the brand Ultra Ego. They did brushes and I bought the set myself. They didn't send it to me. Sometimes I get PR from them, but um, not everything. Like, I didn't get their lashes or anything. And I also did get, um, I also picked up one of their lipsticks when I bought the brushes. Because I wanted to get to the free shipping. So, <laughs> not supposed to be buying lipsticks, but I actually really like that lip formula. So, that was good. I think that's going to be my lippy today. But, trying to figure out which shade to pick for the lip. I think I'm going to go into Giving. It's like a beautiful peachy color peachy gold ooh ooh that's pretty wow it is crumbly though that's such a pretty color okay i'm going to pick it up with the brush and spray the brush It's a very glittery, glittery color. There is so much fallout under my eyes. Can you guys see it? I don't like that, but here's the thing. You can always get it back together. You can always rein it in. So I'm gonna clean my under eyes put some foundation on, and I will be back to do the lower lash line on camera for you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use a pink eyeliner. Actually, this says lip liner. So I used a pink lip liner in my waterline because I'm a rebel. Look at me go. And 
lower lash line. I'm gonna grab my favorite lower lash line brush, the Morphe M149. I'm gonna go into the shade Heart, which is the beautiful red shade. And I'm just gonna blend. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Intense. And then, just to get some fun color going, grabbing my fancy smancy inner corner shades. Same brush, clean it off a little. And of course, you guys don't have to use Red Giant by Terra Moon. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. <laughs> bam, bam. Bam. Mm, so delicious. That should have been my lid shade. Oh well. Anyway, love it. And then for lips, I thought I'd do a little Kaleidos. So this is their Lucid Lip in the shade Mesmerize. Okay, I fluffed that up. I huh, Lip tonic was supposed to go on first, but I can actually. Mmm. So the Lip Tonic is like their liquid lipstick formula, but it's very like hydrating feeling. And then the Lucid Lip is their gloss. So I accidentally just did that backwards, but I think it turned out great. I'm really feeling that Valentine's vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and I will be right back to show you the final look. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed how I created this look. So my concern always when a new Natasha Denona palette comes out is, is it gonna live up to the hype? And with the Metropolis, that is like my creme de la creme of eyeshadow palettes. I love that palette so, so much. And based on first impressions, this one did not knock that out of its number one spot. This one is okay. I can't say I'm in love just yet after using it one time. I felt the same way about the Sunset Palette. It was kind of one of those where I had a Sephora Rewards and I bought it because I was really curious, but I don't even think I really made a video with this palette. I just kind of owned it and it's kind of sat there in my collection for a while. So I like this palette, but it's definitely not love. We'll see, maybe things will change. I did want to mention that I had some other palettes I wanted to show you. So if you have, say for example, the Strawberry Dreams palette from Lunar Beauty, this is kind of a beautiful color scheme and has most of those shades that you would be looking for in the love palette. So you might be able to kind of dupe the vibe as I think Hannah Louise Poston says. So that was an idea that I just wanted to show you guys. And then I also thought that if you maybe had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, you might be able to kind of dupe the vibes of the Love palette as well. And then my last suggestion for those beautiful neutral shades is the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I think this one definitely has some of those beautiful romantic eyeshadow colors. So those were just a few suggestions in case you are balling on a budget and you don't wanna run out and buy this or you kinda of wanna see if you like this color story and you wanna see what in your collection might work. Those are some of my ideas and yeah, like I said, I think this is okay. Not sure I'm 100% in love with this one yet, but we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you picked up this palette and how you are liking it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys.